Out of that case out of Rockland, in which two Maine police officers have been fired, allegedly after they beat and killed a porcupine. Yeah, and ECN's Dustin Vlitkowski has more on the case and where it stands in court. Those are very serious charges. Natasha Irving, the district attorney prosecuting former Rockland, Maine police officers Addison Cox and Michael Rollerson, says they each face three charges, including aggravated cruelty to animals, night hunting for both. Court documents accuse the pair of recklessly causing extreme physical pain to an animal, causing an animal's death, or physically torturing an animal. According to a story in the Courier Gazette, a weekly Rockland newspaper, the animals were porcupines. That's based, the paper says, on, quote, an investigator's report. The Lincoln County Sheriff's Office told us it did do an investigation for Rockland Police. The Maine Warden Service told us it's been involved with the case as well. Rockland's police chief saying weeks ago in a Facebook post to residents, he couldn't say too much about the case, but if it were up to me, you would have those details. You would know exactly what occurred and how it was dealt with. We tried reaching former officer Cox by phone, but didn't get an immediate answer. We did speak to Steve Smith, attorney for former officer Rollerson. In an emailed statement, Smith told us Mike is a decorated veteran, a dedicated police officer and a loving family man. He and his family have been devastated by these accusations. Whoever's leaking supposed police reports to hurt Mike, Smith says, needs to take a long look in the mirror because that is a crime. Prosecutors say they did not release the report. Nobody from our office uh, would do that or did do that. But they also told us expect a criminal court case like any other. That breaking animal cruelty and hunting laws isn't right no matter what. When a police officer is alleged to have committed a crime, we attempt to hold them accountable. The former officers involved in this case have been summoned. They're expected to appear in court here on November 9th. In Rockland, Dustin Lukowski, NECN.